time for the most underreported story of the year. Mm. Now, of course, we reported it here on the Young Turks, but it was shocking how little attention it got in the Who, rest of the. Who's made this? Is Bill Moyers making this assessment? Because Bill Moyers asked this question. So. Oh, really? That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. No, I am making this assessment. <laughs> okay, uh, but I'd be curious to see what Bill Moyers thinks. In fact, we should have him on the show. He's the most underrepresented guest on the Young Turks <laughs> history because I don't think we've had him on, and it's a bit ridiculous. Okay. Um, so I, I think it's the story where uh, Roger Ailes, we found tape of him through Katie McFarland, who was one of their reporters, <laughs> a good one, telling David Petraeus back when he was a uh, general in charge in Afghanistan, uh, hey, if you uh, don't take Obama's offer of running the CIA, and which by the way, you should not, uh, we will help you run for president. That in fact, Roger Ailes would drop out of Fox News to run General Petraeus's campaign and that Rupert Murdoch would uh, bankroll it. So now, it is an absolutely amazing story and it is incontrovertible proof. There was an audio tape and in fact Roger Ailes does not deny it. He said, well, you know, I was just being a wise ass. <laughs> when, you <laughs> when you sent someone across the world to talk to one of our top generals with a very specific offer about how you would run his presidential campaign, if he betrayed the president and ran against him. Well, you were just being kind of sarcastic. I, I, I have many questions, so let's hear the clip and then let me get into it. Right, so this is Katie McFarland after she does an interview with David Petraeus. And by the way, the guy who broke the story is Bob Woodward from the Washington Post. And part of the reason it's underreported is the Washington Post actually put it in their style section rather than A1 where it belonged because it's a massive, yeah. unbelievable story about politics, let alone the media, okay? So now, uh, here's a piece of the tape, and we ran the whole tape earlier uh, on Katie <coughs> McFarland uh, talking to Petraeus, and listen to what they said. Tell him if I ever ran, okay. but I won't. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. If I, I ever know. ran, I'd take him up on his offer. Okay, all right. He, said he would quit Fox. I know, I know. He's, look, he's not the only and, one. And bankroll it. Bankroll it? <laughs> Or maybe I'm confusing that with Rupert. No. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, I know Roger's. You know, it's he's done okay, but <laughs> no, I think the one who's bankrolling it is the big boss. That, 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 that okay, the big boss is bankrolling it. Roger's going to run it, and the rest of us are going to be your in-house. Uh, I need a. Uh, uh, white people English, English white people dictionary to know what the hell they said in that conversation. So what he, she re already relayed the message, Roger Ailes is saying, don't take the CIA job. If he offers you the Joint Chiefs job, that was earlier in the tape, well, like, we can understand how you would take that, okay? But what we're urging you to do instead is don't take any of it, drop out, become the Republican nominee, and Ailes will run the campaign for you. And then at one point, there's a little misunderstanding there in the middle of that tape, and Petraeus says, and bankroll it, and then they awkwardly she laugh, laugh and, uh, and she says, no, no, the big boss would bankroll it, Rupert Murdoch. And he says, and maybe I confused that with Murdoch. Right, yeah. when I confused that with Murdoch, because apparently Murdoch had reached out to him earlier, okay? So then she says, to be absolutely clear, Murdoch would bankroll it, Ailes would run your campaign, and Fox News would be your in-house. That to me Should is the most amazing Fox part of it. Would be your in-house. It we would be your in-house. Okay. Me, what I take away from that is two things. Mainly that a lot of the people that work at Fox News would then come work for Petraeus if he were to win the White House. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, for example, Katie McFarland has worked for other Republican administrations before. Okay. And they would also be there in-house in the sense that nonstop right. pro Petraeus propaganda. And the word house there is. An interesting, you know, use of wordage there because they would really be his right. house people, <laughs> if you will. Okay, and so look, this is amazing. Not just for the the fact that it's uh, an enormous part of our media, and Fox News claims to be fair and balanced, and here we have them on tape hatching a conspiracy where they would literally run the Republican campaign for President of the United States of America. But it's also in terms of our politics that this is how things work. And Carl Bernstein wrote a terrific article in The Guardian about this saying, my God, 
I mean, I can't, he's like, I, I'm dumbfounded that the rest of the media doesn't think this is a gigantic story, and let alone the Washington Post it was like, oh, it's a little style section piece, isn't so it? So he's speaking yeah. up for his former colleague, too. Yeah. Like, this guy broke a great story, talk about it, the world. Absolutely, and, and, and Bernstein adds this one final point, which I thought was devastating and, again, nearly irrefutable. He's like, if there was tape of an NBC reporter going and talking to a Democrat and saying, Hey, if you drop out of the, you know, of being a general or whatever, name your general, and NBC, Comcast, or GE will bankroll it for you, the big boss will, yeah. uh, and you know, Steve Kappas, the head of news for NBC, will drop out and run your campaign, and, and the rest of NBC will be your in-house. Now, what kind of a scandal do you think that would be? Yeah. Uh I'm curious, it would be a huge scandal, no question. I'm curious, and what I guess, you know, how naive I am still about American politics. How would he bankroll it? Like, I don't really, like, literally, so okay, that's really interesting, and I'm prepared to believe it, but how? Like, what? Well, I mean, first of all. Modi, would he just give $250 million to a super PAC, and then that would be that? that, that first of all, that's yes. an right, right. entire possibility. Yeah, right. And understand something. Murdoch and even Fox News specifically, News Corp, the, the parent corporation, already gives to Republicans. They gave a million dollars to the Republican Governors Association, and they've given to different candidates. So they're like, you right. know. Yeah. Partisan, nonpartisan, who gives a damn? They literally give money to Republicans, let alone giving almost, you know, at least half the Republican candidates from the last election contracts, and from this election, contracts, million dollar contracts to be their contributors on air. But, but this is, the, I'm going to be honest, I don't entirely understand the appeal from Roger Ailes and Rupert Murdoch's point of view. Like, yeah, it's easy to say they'll give him the hundred million dollars, but Mitt Romney had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. And, and they'll give him all the support that Fox News can, but they provide that to the Republican nominee so, anyway. So that's, so that's what's really interesting, okay? Because this indicates that this was during the primaries, Republican primaries, or, or right, right in that ballpark where you, they didn't know who the candidate was going to be. It was a wide open field, okay? So th this is Fox News saying. I'd like to point out in hindsight that it was never wide open. It was always uh, Mitt Romney. Yeah, no, right. I hear right. you, but they didn't like they Mitt didn't Romney, like that, right. and, and they certainly and, didn't and like that. And a guy like Petraeus would have changed that equation. Right, and they, so their agenda in this case, I mean, they would lose the head of their network at Fox News, right? They would invest all this money. Yeah. So that's part of what makes this story so interesting because it shows you the real agenda of Fox News is not even profit, is, is not even the ratings. Their real agenda is support the Republican Party. And they thought Petraeus would be the best candidate that he could be president of the United States. Now, ultimately, will that lead to more profit for News Corp if Murdoch has the president of the United States in his back pocket? Mm -hmm. Of course it would. So it's all synergy and it all works together. But as far as Fox News is concerned, top priority is get a Republican elected. And if we control him, oh, that's even better. And so this is exactly what they seem like they were about to do. And you have to understand something about Roger Ailes, too. It's not like a random thing, right? Roger Ailes has run Republican campaigns before, and he worked for Richard Nixon. He worked for George H.W. Bush. That's what he did, right? So he would get back into that business and just switch hats and go, OK, I was just kidding about the news part. And here I am back as a political operative, which is what he does through Fox News anyway, but he does it in a subversive way. Yeah, I, uh, it would have been a fascinating thing. My, my father, you know, who of course uh, ran George McGovern's campaign and, and was Gary uh, was uh, uh, Bobby Kennedy's press secretary, and he uh, active in Democratic politics all his life. He was terrified of David Petraeus mm -hmm. throughout this process. Yeah, thought thought D I do not want that guy to run. I do not want that guy to run. Uh, in hindsight, it almost would have been the best possible scenario. Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. David Petraeus may not have well done it because he. Hard to imagine David Petraeus being uh, a toady for those guys, mm -hmm. or being Knowing conservative I, enough to appeal, or being to conservative the base. enough, or would do the things necessary that you, the horrible things you have to say, and the horrible mm -hmm. racist you have to whip up in order to win a Republican election. But I don't know. I don't know him that well, right? But mm -hmm. what would have been great is it, because I was obviously already having the affair, is that Rupert Murdoch would have blown all that money. <laughs> uh, well, maybe. I mean, that's interesting. I wonder if the affair would have come out before the election. Because you remember, uh, before the 2004 election, the New York Times sat on an amazing story about how we had been Laden cornered in Tora Bora, and Rumsfeld would not give the order to pursue him. They said that he actively turned down 
a request by a, G a U.S. general in Afghanistan. He said, do not pursue bin Laden. And they said, well, we didn't want to run it before the election because it might influence the election. But you influenced the election by not running that story, right? Mm -hmm. So I wonder if Petraeus story would have broken before the election if it hadn't. I mean, who knows, right? But I'll tell you, forget the affair. I, I think Without the affair, Petraeus would have been a better, it appears, and you never know how it goes throughout the campaign, but it appears would have been a better ca uh, candidate than any of them. There were long-time Democratic operatives like your dad believed that, and long-time Republican operatives like Roger Ailes believed that. Right, now, the question is, would, would when you learned David Petraeus' positions, like, who knows? I don't know, is he pro-choice? You know, I mean, there could exactly. have been. Exactly, that's, right, that's, that's why that's I'm so confused. We don't know. I don't understand why. Like the, Mitt no, no, Romney was more electable than the other Republicans too, but that's partly why he didn't inspire the base enough. And I think that Petraeus is, is likely from the, what we do know or what we don't know to have had the same problem, I would imagine. No, no, but we don't know anything about Petraeus. You're assuming that he's not that conservative when these guys seem to think he is. Yeah, or that he would be willing to be. Mm -hmm. You know, he probably, mm -hmm. look, he's like a general. He probably doesn't, he hasn't had to take a position on, on almost every issue, so they create his position on those issues. Okay, and yeah. one last thing on this. Look, um, Petraeus in the military is Mitt Romney. He is a greasy politician. Everybody in the military knows it. And like you might say he's done good service and he might have had a decent strategy in the surge, which is riddled with nonsense if you ask me. Okay, but there's a legitimate debate as to whether he's a good general, etc. But uh, you know, the fact that he is political is <laughs> incredibly well known. In fact, he wrote his thesis was on image and PR and how PR is more important than reality. And, <laughs> and then he just did that his whole career. So could he have, even if he had positions that were not amenable to the Republican primaries, amended those positions, especially because they were not public, so that he could win the primary? That's exactly what Petraeus has done be. his whole career.